Okay, so I'm back here and we're gonna have another tutorial today on EMC and how to set up the best collector and relay setup with energy condenser. I think there's a, quite a few videos out there, but I thought I'd just make my own because I got some great feedback on the last video. So, first we'll need relay. Well, yeah, relays. We need collector. These are all Mark or like MK1, like the first one. You can upgrade them to the last one. That's only if you have like tons of, like once you start out with these, you can upgrade it to dark matter one and then the red matter one. But they take quite a bit of time to get. And energy condenser. You also need some glowstone. Okay, so this is how you set it up with the first, like, first marker, like, whatever you call it. Like this, I don't know. The starting one. MK1. So you start out with energy condenser. Put it in the middle. You can condense whatever you want. I'll just do diamond blocks. For the purpose of the video. And then you surround it with... The collectors. Sorry, <laughs> And you make the relay with obsidian diamond block, which is pretty expensive, and glass. And you make the collectors with a furnace, die another diamond block, and glowstone, which is even more expensive. So it take you quite a while to get these resources. And you just put four on top here, and then you can add another one here, another one here. And you surround this whole thing with glowstone because you need the max amount of light to collect the most amount of energy so you'll get most amount of glowstone because glowstone is the best way of getting light I think it's like 15 light level and then you just dig under this until you get to the collector so you can access it and as you can see it's already collecting energy so it's like quite a bit so if you like have a 24 7 server or something and you can add one sec yeah 24 7 server you can just leave this on and it'll keep going if you like put like a world to anchor in maybe even more and you put four uh, collectors around it underneath so now you get a little bit more so that's how you set up a collector and relay for uh, max amount of like most efficient one. Technically, you can upgrade all these, and I'll show you the upgraded one. So let's get MK3 and MK3. This now this is made with. It's made with one red matter and glowstone and a MK2 collector. For an MK2 collector, you will need one dark matter, the old energy collector that we just used, and glowstone. So these cost a lot. And yeah, the relays you can make with the MK2 relay with obsidian, and you make that with the dark matter. It's pretty simple. So you just make another one. Connect some. Um, Blocks of diamond. So, let's see, this makes a lot the EMC. I mean, having one of these and like just going AFK, you'll get tons and tons of stuff like diamonds really easily. And some people say you shouldn't put ghost around this because it's a waste because it makes like 16 levels of light because it's MK3, but I don't really know for sure. But I just like putting glowstone because it looks cooler. If I find out why, like if you do or not, I do like an update video telling you guys because smaller is more efficient. Then you just dig under. That's the relay. And there's the 
condense it. Put one here, 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 and here. And see how much there's like a huge difference between this one and the other one. See, like that one's about to make a diamond block already, and this one still not even at forty thousand. So you can see there's like a ten times difference. I just, there should be one more in the middle, but I kind of skipped that step. And there's one more thing you can do to make these faster, which not many people use. Good thing. So you need a dark matter pedestal. It's pretty expensive, but to make these things faster, you can just put like this for creative. Cause I'm in creative mode, but one would do fine. And then you need a watch of flowing time. So you can't right click on these. So you have to shift click and then put your watch. But at first you have to hit V to charge it up. Then shift click and put your watch in. Uh, I don't want that. You hit V to charge it up. Then you shift click to put your watch in. So I think this is how you do it. Unless you like change it to make it darker or not. Because I don't know if you want. Well, no, nope. I think I have it right here. So you just put it in all of them. And this will speed up time or something. So it makes these collectors collect a lot more. Because it, it speeds up the time and how fast it's going. So we need some redstone torches. And you just place a torch behind each one. And now, if we go check this, it should be going a lot faster. See, it's already making its second block of diamond, and it's 73,000 EMC. So it just made 143,000 about. So this is like the most efficient way to set up a energy collector, relay, and condenser. That's about it, guys. So guys, I'm back, and like I was working on how to set up this to make it automatic to come to one chest or collection point and and I started seeing this so this means it's on but sometimes like tech it or some there's like a glitch or problem which makes it so you can't see it for all of them like it should be happening to every single one but I don't know why it doesn't so just want to tell you that and I'm not much of a <coughs> no, sorry I'm not much of a red power guy but I'm trying to get this to work and make it automatic. Like, I know you need a retriever. And just place one here. Like this. Need redstone tubes. These are made with matic tubes. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. These are made with pneumatic tubes and redstone, and pneumatic tubes two brass and glass, and this retriever is ender pearl filter, which is quite expensive. Right, where'd it go? And some blue alloy, iron and brass, so it's quite expensive. So all you do is put that here by shift clicking. If you don't know how to place things on top of it, you shift click. I had to took a, quite a while to figure that out. I don't know if this will work or is it the other way. Uh, let's just do one for now. I need to just set this up multiple times. Some red alloy, red alloy wire. It's just better than redstone. It looks better. So this is getting powered. Um. Need some cobblestone jacketed wire. So you just connect that here, put red alloy underneath it, right there, and you need a timer. It depends on like how fast you want it. I usually put it around four point four seconds. And it should work. If I'm not wrong. Don't know why it isn't. But let me play around with it and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, that was kind of stupid. I didn't have anything in that chest yet made because it's the slow one. I use the fast one. And to turn these on, I just figured out you have to right click 
I turned them on and off, and I did not know that. And also, I don't know if redstone tubes might work or not, but I think these schematic tubes should work. So let's see. Yep, and it starts coming and popping out. You have to use schematic tubes and put the timer on the retriever. And then you can make it to that point four seconds or as fast as you want. Point two is the best, like fastest if you want it really fast if you're making tons of it. So here they come. And then they'll just pop out into this chest. So if you have red power and EE, like the Tedic Tech It mod packs, then this is perfect to make it automatic. And then your chest will be filled up with diamonds in no time. And this one's going a lot faster now because all of these are on, and this one's going like 10 times faster. I haven't even touched this one, it made 12 blocks of diamonds already. So, and that was like only one day. So, to make these automatic, you don't need this many. You probably only need like two of these solar panels, but it's good to have more. So, that's how you make this automatic and more efficient. EMC collector relay setup. Let's say it again and it's gonna be for the tutorial today. Like.